guys, Colleen O'Donnell Pierce here again with another episode of the Craft Beer Diaries. Today we're going down to Gordon Beerish on Mill Avenue in downtown Tempe and we're going to meet with Dieter Forstner who's their head brewmaster. Come on inside. Well hi, my name is Dieter Forstner. I'm the head brewer here at Gordon Beerish in Tempe, Arizona. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about Gordon Beerish bit about our history and about our beer. Gordon Biersch was founded in 1988 by Dan Gordon and Dean Biersch. Dan Gordon was actually the first American to graduate from the Technical Brewers Program at Fine Stefan over in Bavaria. When he came back he had a thrill, a passion for German beer and German style food and so he opened up Gordon Biersch with his partner Dean. Over in Germany they have to abide by a rule called the Reinheitsgebot, which is a German purity law set forth in 1516, which says beer can only be beer, beer if it's made with water, malted barley, hops, and yeast. Through the different combinations and variations of these four ingredients, you can get all the different styles of beer that they produce over in Germany, and also that we produce here in good old Tempe. Our family of beers that we have year-round are our Schwarz beer, which is a dark German lager. It literally translates to black beer. And it's really light bodied. They're characterized by its roasted coffee, dark chocolate finish. We also have a Hefeweizen, which is a traditional Bavarian style Hefeweizen. It's medium bodied with a beautiful banana flow finish. Perfect for these warm summer days and warm springs that we have here in Arizona. Also, we have a Czech Pilsner which is a traditional bohemian style pilsner, medium body, golden in color, with a beautiful hoppy aroma and hoppy finish. This is the most bitter beer that we serve here. Absolutely fantastic, really wonderful. Our another beer that we have is our Meritzen. Meritzen's a traditional Oktoberfest beer. And if you literally translate the name from German, the name means March. Now how's a beer named March, an Oktoberfest beer? Well, during the early days of brewing in Germany, they had seasons, which was dictated by the religious calendar. So they're only able to produce beer between the months of September up until the end of April. Well, Germans aren't going to go four or five months without having beer. So what they do is they brew a ton of beer in April and they'd store it up in the ice caves up in, in the Alps. And as they needed it, they rolled more and more and more beer out. Well, eventually they needed to figure out a way to get rid of all this beer. So, to commemorate the wedding of a king in Bavaria, they threw a big party and it was a huge success. And ever since then, they continued on with the tradition of Oktoberfest. So that's how a beer named March is celebrated in October. And our last beer that we have is our Golden Export. Golden Export's a light body. Uh, Dortmunder export, golden in color with a really light, reflect, refreshing, hoppy finish. This beer became so popular that they actually started using it for commerce. There was such great demand for this beer that they started using it for trade to barter for different goods and services. Well, this is what we have year-round here at Gordon Beersch. But at the beer festival, we're going to have a few different other styles of beer. We'll be bringing out an Alt beer, which is a beer that's typically produced in Dusseldorf, Germany. It's a medium body auburn to brown colored German ale. And it's characterized by its hoppy finish. It's a beautiful beer. Really excited for this beer to, to bring this beer out with us. Also, we're bringing the Dunkless. Dunkless is dark in color, but it really has a sweet, malty body and it has a somewhat chocolate roasted coffee finish to it. Really great beer. We're also giving a little sneak peek of our springtime seasonal, which is our Maybach. And that's a full body Bach beer, rich and malty characteristics, and it's sweet from the beginning to the end. It's higher in alcohol content, so when you sample this beer, watch out. And lastly, we'll be having our Hafe Bites. You never go wrong with the Hefeweizen and I imagine in March it's going to be a warm day and this will be a perfect thirst quenching beer, absolutely ideal for the festival. 
So, if you guys want to find out more about Gordon Biersch, you can follow us on Facebook, um, Gordon Biersch Tempe. Also, you can follow any of our four other Valley locations, Gordon Biersch Santan, Gordon Biersch Scottsdale, and Gordon Biersch Glendale. I look forward to seeing you all back at the Great Arizona Beer Festival. But as for me, I've got to get back to work. Prost. <laughs>